In my latest video, I discovered that the wall in Game of Thrones cannot be made of ice, but it might in fact be made of a substance called pycrete, which is just a mixture of ice and some sort of wood pulp, such as paper or sawdust. I decided rather than just putting the theory out there, maybe I should actually do an experiment for once. So I'm gonna use this bad boy to test the strength of both ice and pycrete. First up though, I need some of the stuff. And quite frankly, I can't be bothered to wait around to make ice in a freezer. I'm gonna make it with liquid nitrogen. So this will be my pycrete made of shredded paper and water. And I'm just dipping it in the liquid nitrogen to freeze it. This nitrogen is at minus 203 degrees C, incredibly cold. That's why I'm of course wearing those absolutely gigantic gloves and I've made a connect little cradle to lower it in. And there we have it, my samples for testing. Let's get back over to that machine. Let's start with the ice. <laughs> nice. And now the pycrete. So there you have it, that was pretty unspectacular, if I'm going to be honest. Um, probably should have actually made ice the slow and hard way, rather than cheating and using liquid nitrogen, because I don't think it made it particularly strong. But we did the test, and here are the results. So we're plotting the extension of the material against the amount of force registered by the machine for both ice in blue and pycrete in red. Let's look at the ice first. So here's where we started to make contact with the ice and quite slow to start with. And then we hit this first breaking point here at a load of about a thousand newtons. And that's where the ice initially failed. Only five millimeter extension actually. Uh, and then it drops back down there. And then there was another ma a contact made about here uh, with the second failure. And then beyond 10 millimeters, uh, the ice is just absolutely rubbish. <laughs> it's completely failed by that point. Onto the pycrete, and we see something slightly different. So we can see even at smaller extensions, it's able to take higher loads. It's got a stronger Young's modulus. That means it's a stronger material. And the first breaking point doesn't happen until 15 millimeters or so. That's three times the amount of deformation that ice could take. And the loads registered are just under double that of the ice, which is kind of in line with Pike's findings. And then just like the ice, we get a, a second peak and a second failure going on here. So whilst the strengths aren't perhaps up there with what we might expect, some of the features showing that pycrete is stronger than ice are in fact shown right in this graph. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, do check out my Game of Thrones video all about ice, the wall, and why it could be made of pycrete, even though we may not have really showed that here today. <laughs> you can check that there. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Cheers.